So we're here at the Arcade One Up stand. I'm here with John. Hey. Uh, and you're going to talk us through the Star Wars Arcade. Yep. Uh, this looks amazing. People in the UK are crazy for it. Tell us a bit <laughs> about the. <laughs> tell us a bit about the cabinet. Well, this is a great reproduction of the 1982 original Star Wars game by Atari. Yeah. With the vector graphics and we have the lit marquee here. And what we're really proud of is the uh, the flight yoke. Yeah. It's really very close to the production flight yoke back in 1982, and people love it. You know, you're in your X-wing fighter and you're fighting the. Uh, no, okay, Typhoon is X-wing. Typhoon is X-wing. Star. Yeah, Death Star. It's all going through there. the towers. It's all in yeah. there. You know. Well, that's the thing. I think people are excited. Back in the day when it was, you had the stand up and the sit down yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, you know, just blowing up those little. Uh, what was those? The fireballs. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and the fireballs. And the, everything going that came the out. trenches. Exactly. Using uh, the force. Listening to <laughs> that old MIDI music. Yeah, that's you know, right. That's it's right. a big deal. Uh, but also, uh, above and beyond that, you've also got Empire and Jedi in here as That's well. That's correct. So walk us through that a little bit. Well, not many people have played Empire, no. you know, and no. the interesting about, part about that is Empire Strikes Back was almost like a, an expansion game, right? Uh, basically, well, they wanted to refresh uh, the, the Star Wars games, this is like yeah. 1985, yeah, yeah. and they basically just took the uh, hardware boards out and replaced it with Empire Strikes Back, slapped on an Empire sticker on the side, <laughs> right? And um, what was great about that game, it still had the vector graphics, but yeah. you're actually in Hoth, you're fighting the at-ats, and yep. you, you can actually you know, boomerang their legs and make them fall. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And of course you got around to Jedi. Uh, Return of the Jedi, the yes. The graphics got better. Well, it, uh, it wasn't a uh, vector-based graphics yeah. anymore. It was sprite-based. Yep. You started in the moon of Endor uh, with Luke and Leia uh, going through the forest and, uh, with their speeder bikes. And uh, it was a, that game was incredibly hard. Yes. Uh, I'm not saying it's unplayable, but the great thing about <laughs> the great thing about this is that this versions that we have, you're able to adjust the difficulties yep. through the UI and different options. Is that kind Clever. of a first for our new waves of uh, of arcade one up uh, okay. cabinets? Yeah. So for our friends in the states listening to this, <laughs> where can they find this? And okay. what sort of price point they're looking right, at? Right, we're looking at five hundred dollars. Yep. You can find them at Walmart, GameStop, Target. Uh, you know, maybe Best Buy. Yeah. But yeah, just check out arcade1up.com and you can find out exactly where you can uh, find this amazing arcade cabinet. And for our UK viewers and listeners, obviously we know that Arcade 1Up have got products out yes. there in the UK already. Correct. Argos, Amazon, mm -hmm. uh, Smiths. Smiths. Will the Star Wars product be coming eventually? I'm assuming it's a rights and licenses thing at the moment. It is, it is. Uh, and you know, our goal is to have it in Europe by the end of next year, right? Oh, superb. Uh, you know, we. We usually roll things out in North America first because of licensing. Yep. Uh, but again, our, our goal is to have this out for everyone worldwide Brilliant. You know, in the next year and a half or so. Yeah. Well, you've got one guaranteed sale here. I bet. Sure. Thank you so much. No, thanks for walking us through this. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Bye. Salutations. Uh, hello, chaps. Uh, great that you watched the video. Really pleased that you uh, took the time to watch it. Now, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, tell all your friends. Uh, subscribing is good because we have new videos every Wednesday, every Saturday, so don't miss out.